Now that we're familiar with what Craft Commerce is, let's go ahead and dig in and we're going to start by installing the Craft Commerce plugin. But before we can install the plugin, let's review the prerequisites. And you don't want to skip over these because it's important that you meet all of the requirements before installing the Craft Commerce plugin. All right, so what are the requirements or the prerequisites for installing Craft Commerce? Well, first, you need Craft CMS running, and you need to have a copy that is 2.6 or newer. If your site is on an older version of Craft, you will need to update before moving forward with this course. Craft CMS is required because Craft Commerce is a plugin to Craft CMS and not a standalone software product. So you will need to have Craft CMS installed running 2.6 or newer. Craft CMS requires PHP 5.3 or newer, and that is as of the recording of this course. However, Craft Commerce requires PHP 5.4 or newer, so this is going to be a difference from running Craft CMS. You can easily check your version of PHP if you already have a site running Craft and you don't have another way of quickly checking if you have the right PHP version for Craft Commerce. Log into your Craft control panel, scroll down to the footer of the dashboard, and click on the server info link. Even if you see a green check mark next to PHP version, you want to make sure that you actually confirm via the PHP info tab because this is only checking for support for Craft itself, which is PHP 5.3 or higher. If we go to PHP info and we search the page for PHP version, you can see we are running PHP version 5.5.38. The version that you see should match or exceed PHP 5.4. So to review, we need Craft 2.6 or newer, PHP 5.4 or newer, and finally, Pixel and Tonic recommends, and I agree, that you should first learn how to use Craft CMS before jumping into using Craft Commerce. Many of the principles of Craft CMS apply to Craft Commerce, and it will be an easier path if you learn Craft CMS first. If you don't already know Craft CMS, and this is your first exposure to it, then I encourage you to check out my Up and Running with Craft course, which is available at midjingo.com craft. If you need help installing Craft, there's also a video in my Up and Running with Craft course, or I have a free installation video available as a lesson right here on majingo.com. That's linked alongside this course too, but if you go to majingo.com lessons and look for installing craft, you'll find it. Okay, with the prerequisites out of the way, we are ready to install Craft Commerce. The first step is to get the plugin, and as I mentioned earlier, you can download the plugin for free to try it out before purchasing a license. And you can do that at craftcommerce.com. Just click on the red download button, accept the agreement, and you'll be on your way. Once we have the plugin downloaded, we need to unzip it and then move it to the proper directories in our Craft installation. Once you unzip the plugin, you'll have two directories, commerce and templates. This is the plugin, and these are the templates. The templates are sample templates that will help us with the implementation. We're going to move those to the templates directory in our craft installation. Now, we won't actually use them when building our store, but we will have them as a reference, as a way of walking through how Craft Commerce will work. One of the things that's nice about the templates is that they help demonstrate ways that Craft Commerce can be implemented. In fact, you could take them whole cloth and reuse them and reskin them and restructure them if you want to. And some of the parts of the site that I built are using some hints from the templates as a way of showing best practices. So in templates, we will grab the commerce directory and then go and put that inside of craft templates and paste it in. And there are all the templates. And by default, commerce will reference these templates. So we want to make sure that they're right there in their place. And then next, we have our commerce directory, which is the plugin itself. We can look in there and you can see all the supporting code for the commerce plugin. So we'll grab that and copy it and drop that into plugins. 
Now we need to install the plugin itself. In the settings for our site, we go to plugins and Craft will list the plugins that we have in our file system, whether they are installed or enabled or not. And we can then click install. And the plugin is installed and enabled and we get a new tab here on the sidebar called Commerce. Let's click on that. And here is Craft Commerce. This is what it looks like. We're gonna take a tour in a second, but we can also do one other thing. We can look at Commerce on the front end of our site. So if I go to my site and then go to slash Commerce, since the Craft Commerce plugin is installed and we've moved those templates over, we will get a nice sample site here for Craft Commerce. And it shows us how we can implement Craft Commerce, how we can add things to the cart, and then continue on with our checkout. So this is a nice handy reference, a way of starting to understand how Craft Commerce works before we start implementing it. However, if I'm doing my job right, you won't need this sample implementation at all because we're going to walk through it together step by step.